Hello everyone, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some basic static routes on your SonicWall firewall. Routes are needed when you're trying to reach networks that are not physically connected to the SonicWall, but they do exist behind the next hop. In this example, we have a network set up with a layer-free switch with two VLAN networks configured behind it. In this diagram, we have the internal interface of the Sonic Wall connected to a layer-free switch with the IP of 192.168.168.2. The layer-free switch is known to the Sonic Wall because it's directly connected. In order to route to the interfaces behind this layer-free switch, we need to tell the Sonic Wall how to reach those networks. So let's jump into the Sonic Wall. Within the Sonic Wall, we need to navigate to the Manage tab. We need to scroll down to network and then routing. In order to route to those networks, we need to create a route policy. Next, we're going to add a new route. In the route policy settings, we need to specify the source as any. The destination, we're going to create a new address object. We're going to call this VLAN 10. Zone is LAN. Network will be 10.10.10.0 10 10 with a slash 24 subnet mask. The service will be any. The interface will be the interface where the layer free switch is connected off. So in this case, it's X0. For the gateway, we need to create a new address object, and this will be the IP of the layer free switch. For static route, we're going to set the metric to 1, and then we're going to click OK to save. We're going to add another route for the VLAN 20 subnet. So again, the source will be any, the destination. We're going to create a new address object for VLAN 20. Interface will be X0 again. And the gateway will be our layer free switch object. Again, the metric will be 1. So now that we have these two routes in place here on the sonic wall, we're basically telling it to get to these two VLANs, they need to go to the layer free switch first because that device knows how to get there. On the layer free switch, you will need a route in place to basically default all traffic to the sonic wall so web traffic can get out. And that concludes this week's video on basic static routes. Thanks again for watching this video brought to you by firewalls.com. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe in order to see more videos from our Essentials series over the coming weeks.